Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today at the time you guys are seeing this video if you're watching this at 10 p.m. Eastern time that means that in fact currently right now the golden ticket solo challenges are live from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time they should be live now of course if you guys have a golden ticket don't be afraid to come out and reach out to me you guys can DM me over on Twitter and if you want some help I want you guys to pick the player but depending on who you guys pick if you need some help with what ratings you want to adjust or maybe what archetypes to go with so that you can get like the best abilities I can definitely help you guys that have helped a couple people out already and I think there may be one more person that previously pulled a golden ticket that did just hit me up recently so we'll see if he wants my help and maybe I can announce to you guys another golden ticket very soon if you haven't seen my videos from earlier today though I did already go over one of the new golden ticket players that we have so we know of three golden tickets so far but I do want to give a shout out to Colin Freeman for being a part of the Noti gang if you guys have a chance to be shouted out in the next video drop a like on the vid make sure you guys sub the channel and comment down below Noti gang we didn't turn the notifications on of course but before we get into some packs because of course like I did a couple days ago. I'd like to try to get some Zerk luck going for you guys. It seemed to help you guys out because actually some people did pull a golden ticket from watching my video. So maybe it'll help you guys drop a like on the vid. We'll just see how it goes, I guess. But I do have the Ultimate Legends that are coming out tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Which you guys can expect to see a bit of me opening up some packs in that video, of course. But I do have those Ultimate Legends. So let me go over those players right now. So here are tomorrow's ultimate legends. So let's hop into the LTD first. Alan Page with 84 speed and 89 excel. He also got 95 finesse with a 92 block shed and 91 strength. Being completely honest here, it's a super underwhelming LTD. None of the LTD release, like for ultimate legends, none of the LTD ultimate legends have really just blown me out of the water so far. And Alan Page is definitely... I'm on that list of players that, yeah, it's a good card, but for an LTD, I expect a lot more. And at Allen Page being a 97 overall, definitely a bit disappointing. Why won't you just juice them up, EA? Why won't you make them 98 overalls? I don't understand why you won't give us a 98 overall LTD, yet you plan to release a 98 and probably, well, I'd assume a 98 99 overall power pass in the next series update, which is literally next Friday. Why would you not make the LTD a 98? You're get, I just don't understand it, honestly. But Alan Page, 84 speed, 89 acceleration. You guys can see Warren Sapp has got 80 speed with a 93 excel. Warren Sapp has also got 95 block shit. He's got a 93 strength and a 95 power move. Compared to, like I said, a 95 finesse move, he's got 92 block shit and a 91 strength. To me, there's no point in paying for Alan Page. Like, he has 84 speed and 89 excel, so he has a little bit quicker than Warren Sapp. But for the price, which by the way, if you want Alan Page, I don't really think he's going to be that expensive because the stats really just don't like impress me that much. But Warren Sapp is 392k. Okay, I would much rather have Sapp. I honestly would not be surprised if Sapp was more expensive because to me, I, I feel like Sapp might even be the better overall card. So this LTD just joins the list of players that don't really impress me at all. As for the set legends, here we actually have a pretty decent right end in Deacon Jones. Now he has 80 speed, 88 acceleration with a 93 strength, 96 tackling, 95 block shed, 96 power move, and also a 90 finesse move. I think this is overall a pretty solid card, and you could almost argue that maybe he's a better defensive tackle than Alan Page. Like you could probably put him in a DT and he'd play very, very similar, if not even maybe a little bit better because he's a higher block shed. Card looks pretty good. Uh, I do want to do a comparison here to another Rams defense event of course and that's gonna be Aaron Donald now Donald's actually only 320,000 coins right now his price has definitely been coming down but he has 84 speed with a 91 acceleration so he's actually quite a bit faster in both speed and acceleration then you take a look at this strength right so Deacon has got 93 strength with a 95 power or 95 block shed and a 96 power move Donald has got a 98 strength 96 block shed and 97 power move with a 94 finesse I again I don't think Deacon's bad. However, Donald is better, and he's 320,000 coins. 
don't get Deacon Jones, just get Aaron Donald. Like I said, since Aaron Donald came out with the Team of the Year promo, that was going to be my right in the rest of the year. I don't plan on getting rid of Aaron Donald because there's absolutely no point. His strength is so high. His speed is really high. His block shit is 96 power move in 97. You powered up here at 98 power move already. Put pass rush. Get that easily to 99. Donald is a beast, and you don't need Deacon Jones because they're probably going to be pretty similar price. I think actually you'll probably be cheaper than Donald. And the final Ultimate Legend coming out tomorrow, guys, is going to be Herman Moore. Now, you guys can see Herman Moore. He's 6'4". He has 93 speed, 96 jump, 94 catch, 96 catch traffic, 97 spectacular catch with a 94 shorts, 93 medium and 95 deep. Now, I'm pretty sure Moore is a team captain, I think. So, like, the Ty Law, the Ryan Chazier. I think he's one of those players, which I feel like he should have gone with Ryan Chazier at the beginning of the year because that card is insane. But Herman Moore again is a pretty solid wide receiver it's you know it's actually a really solid wide receiver in my opinion 96 catch traffic with the 97 spec catch really good i know a lot of people are gonna look at the 93 speed and say eh but if you powered up you know you had 94 you had sprinter you're at 96 and then john madden you're at 97 but that's if you have all of that if you don't then you're looking at 93 speed if you just get the base card which yes that is quite a bit slow i'm very curious to see what his run block and everything looked like but for a comparison to him i think it only makes sense if we compare him to calvin johnson which calvin is you know six five so he's a little bit taller he's got 95 speed compared to herman moore but calvin has got a 94 catch in traffic with a 95 spectacular catch compared to a 96 catch in traffic with a 97 spectacular catch now the route running is a 94 93 and a 95 compared to Calvin was a 92 89 and a 94 so Herman Moore is a little bit better route runner a uh, slightly better catcher as well just not as fast maybe not as athletic I'm not sure if he's going to be as good as Calvin Johnson maybe after the catch as well because Calvin does have that 87 elusiveness he's got the 86 spin move he's got that 92 break tackle uh, we're gonna have to see exactly what Herman Moore is looking like after the catch but Calvin Johnson pretty dang good card uh, obviously you guys already know calvin johnson is ridiculously glitchy i think herman moore is actually pretty solid i think herman moore honestly of all the uls that are coming out tomorrow herman moore is probably the best one so guys with that being said those are the ultimate legends coming out tomorrow let's hop back into the packs so those are the ultimate legend players by the way guys the solo challenge should only be for an hour from 10 p.m eastern time to 11 p.m eastern time so unless they extend it then we'll have to see by the way more than likely the servers are going to go down right more than likely the servers are going to go down i like to put it out this video for you guys because i know some people forget and a lot of people got reminded by me pushing out this video on tuesday if i remember correctly it was the last day it came out so tuesday i believe i uploaded a video as well going over the solo challenge letting you guys know the solos are live so definitely sure you guys play them if you pull a golden ticket hit me up i can definitely help you out on whatever abilities whatever you guys want to actually boost on the card and i'll let you know my personal opinion what i think would be best to do but let's get into a couple of these packs here as get yourself an 83 overall giant simon and a 80 overall will hernandez i'm gonna try my very best pull golden ticket today we'll we'll see how it goes uh unfortunately for me on tuesday the servers went down for a long long time to get 85 overall Corey not even gonna try it i definitely would mess that up horribly horribly mess that one up but i unfortunately didn't get in for like 30 minutes so i was pretty much out of luck when it came to actually pulling a golden ticket on tuesday hopefully today would be a little bit better and if it is you guys will probably see a video from me later today uh i, I think i know who i would go with i don't want to reveal just yet but i think i know who i would actually go with if i did pull gt so if you guys were to pull a golden ticket comment down below who you would make maybe you didn't get lucky and pull one, but maybe someone else will see it. Scroll through the comment section. If they pulled one, maybe they'll go with one of you guys' comments. So comment down below who you guys make a GT of. We do have three more packs remaining. Well, we actually have 13 more packs remaining. I'll probably end up doing maybe five or six more. Right? I'll do like five or six more of these packs. They're decent. As you get a 79, 78, nothing, nothing too good so far. 12 more packs, though. 30,000 coins a pack. Are they worth it? Let's reveal all. 82... 83 and it's Ron Payne power so that one yeah not, not really worth it right there we'll get into the next all pro pack though let's see if we can get like an 87 coin quick sell or just something glitchy 80 overall there give me a full UL no 80 overall Chris Conley and 80 overall Kyle Vinoy also let me know down below what you guys thought about the ultimate legends coming out tomorrow per usual video in the morning open some packs we'll see if my ultimate legend pack look can continue as we get 95 anthony walker jr zerk luck is activated hopefully it'll be activated when the golden ticket solo challenges come live but 95 anthony walker 
you know, it's, it's, it's not the best card because of the zone coverage, but probably goes for a decent amount. Definitely not mad at that. I, I thought it was going to be a 97 overall, though, so slightly disappointed it's not a 97, but I, I'll take the 95 over, say, a 90 or a lower overall. As again, 84, 82, and an 80 overall, I'll do... We'll do three more packs, right? We'll go down to five all pro packs remaining because they aren't—they don't seem too hot today. But if they—if they juice up a little bit, maybe we'll do a couple more. As again, 83 and an 85 overall player right there. Two final all pro packs. Give me something good. Reveal all. 84, 86, 81. Okay, that was solid. All right. If this pack right here is solid, we'll keep going with the packs. If this one is good, if it's bad, we'll probably just stop right here though. 80 overall, Tony Jefferson. 86. 81 and 90 overall Clint Force. Okay, that was good. That was a really good pack there. So five more packs remaining. I'll do them as long as they're good. If we make 30 plus thousand coins each pack, I'll do the rest of these here. 80 overall, 85, 88, and we also get a power of Zach Martin. So since we did get the 88 overall, I guess we'll do another one. We may end up doing them all. It really just depends if these packs are even good. 80, 80. You gotta give me at least like an 85 or 86. 83. You know what? We're down the last couple packs anyways. We have three more packs remaining. I know you guys want to see all the packs. I got three more packs remaining. Let's just fly through these. 81, 84, 70 overall Joe Mixon and another Will Hernandez. I think I already pulled him one time in this pack opening. Two final packs though. Give me something glitchy. 81, 84, 82, and a 78. And on to the final all pro pack. Can we clutch it out? Can we get like a full UL? We, get, we do get an ultimate legend, but it's not going to be a full one. 89 Warren Sapp and an 80 overall. Dang. So we got a 95. The rest of the packs were decent. The rest of the packs were definitely decent. But with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. If you're watching this video between 10 p.m. Eastern Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday the 13th, definitely go ahead. Play your solo challenge right now. Get it done as fast as you can. I want to say that all the golden tickets were off each console. There's only five on Xbox Five and PS4. I want to say they were gone within like 45 minutes. But then again, the servers did go down like a lot. So it's very possible that all the golden tickets could be pulled before the hour is even up. So make sure you guys get those solos done. Hope you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time.